Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, so this is Blue Science, otherwise known as uh, Astronomic Science Pack Number One. We've got our rocket science packs and astronomic. That just leaves biological, material, and energy. Um, I think I will design those in the order that I'm probably going to find them more and more difficult. Um, I have done everything except for energy with uh, the sushi belt base. But... I think uh, I've also done it with uh, material science, and I think the material science is going to be easier. So let's get started with that. Um, I'm still not 100% on how everything's going to fit together ultimately. So I'm basically just going to sort of design these things separately and then look at how we're going to piece them together. Uh, so the first thing is to work backward from the final product, I think. Material Science Pack 1. As I recall, most of the issue with Material Science was actually uh, dealing with the scrap and contaminated scrap. Iridium plate we are definitely going to have on the main bus. Uh, it's not here yet, so I guess we'll add some room for that. The order that these uh, materials go in isn't necessarily final, but probably won't end up having any real reason to change it. Hello Hex, hope you're having a great day. Thank you. More Bell, a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, so this is going to be Iridium Plate. Uh, Iridium plate. Cool. And we'll just copy this stuff as well. Whoops. That is a lot of bus that we're going to be working with. Okay. So we need Iridium Plate, uh, significant data. I think we'll stick with, as, as long as we're doing this with a bus system, um, I think we'll stick with making the significant data right before uh, the material science packs. So let's see, this is going to be two-thirds of one per second. Uh, I think, once again, we'll ratio this to support one of these buildings with no speed modules. Um, so it's probably going to be pretty similar to this. Let's see. Material simulation. And... That is... I think that's the same ratio. It's going to spit out 32 blank data cards for every four significant data. So it's probably going to be the same ratio to satisfy this. Nope, not even close. It's actually twice as fast. Alright, so we're going to have six of these. I think. Uh, 
Uh, that is... Wait, I think I misread it. 1.44 and we only need 0.33. So we need two of these machines? Yeah, that'll do. Okay. And for that we are going to need... Material Insight... This isn't going to be remotely the same shape as what we built over here, is it? Let's see. It's going to look like this. That requires catalogs. I wonder if I should start by copy-pasting this and then altering it. How many is it going to take? Uh, okay, so this is producing insight. This consumes insight, and this consumes both catalog and insight. Uh, we are going to need 4.653 insight per second, which is going to take, uh, looks like 13. We particularly want to build an odd number of those. 4.32 is 4.653. 4.68 at 13. Well. That is 12 and 13. And we should probably reuse the shape of this stuff. Probably. I think that seems pretty sensible. stop there. Actually, that feels kind of weird. I can probably do it like this instead. Okay, how many was this? Uh, that's 11. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how are we doing here? So this just requires catalogs. That'll be coming from here. Catalogs, uh... How many catalogs are we going to need to support all this? 2.673 per second, which is... 15. Okay. I think since both of these are odd, we'll make them sort of overlap like that. Except for the... For this one, it'll be input. For that one, it'll be output. Um, we're obviously going to need pipes like so. Snap to grid relative... Uh, I think it's a width of 5. Yep. Okay. And I already forgot how many of these we need. I think it was like 15, right? Catalog. 2.673 per second gives us 15. 
So this is three. We need 12 more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to want to copy paste this thing, except. Except the inserters need to be turned around. That looks kind of weird. Okay. That should do it. So let's check our ratios. Uh, we are overproducing significant data by the minimum number of machines. Same goes for material catalogs and material insight. Perfect. Uh, the junk data card, I believe, only comes from this. And the only other sort of byproduct we need to spirit away is blank data cards, which I will be very unsurprised to find out is going to be like the astronomic science, whereby it net consumes the blank data cards. In the meantime, um, blank data cards, blank data cards. Okay. So I think since there's just two of these, I don't know how close we can get away with putting them. Um, let's start with this. We require... Hey, Baker Staunch. Thank you very much for the uh, gifted subs. Five of them. Fantastic. Much appreciated. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your... Uh... A Majagus. Oh, hiya, sorry. Fat boy, not so slow. More bill. Thank you. Good to see you all again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, much appreciated. Again, thank you. Uh, how you been? Uh, so I just need... Wait. I think I, I think I messed up. No, this is the input. Okay, yeah. So this belt is a uh, catalog. I'm just gonna put a little visual aid in place for now. Oh, there it is. And then. Uh. I guess we'll do the thing with the shared belt over here as well. Except I think I'll change the way I did it up here, where it's sort of going around this way and then coming back. It'll, I'll probably just make it approach from both sides. Uh, but it, whatever the case, we're going to start with this belt like so. Um, we're going to do these in pairs. And that one can be by itself. Uh, that's going a bit far. And these are the only other ones that spit out the blank data cards. I'm thinking we can maybe spit those out here. I wonder if I'm going to stumble on a neater way to do it for the last science that we did. Uh, if I do it like this, we're going to run into the substation. I think I can... 
I think I can definitely put this a little bit closer, and we can maybe just put that there. Um, and if we run this up here, wait, how many per second is this going to be? Only 3.84. Half a belt's going to be fine for that. And we can almost skip over that. So we'll just do it like this, I guess. Um, if it's going to be on this side of the bell, that will work. And then we're just going to copy this. Blank data cards go that way. And I believe we're going to need catalogs directly inserted into this thing as well. Right. Uh, so, catalogs. Maybe like that. I don't really want to need an extra inserter. So maybe like this. It would be a little more convenient if I could line up the fluid input like so. So that's going to be... Um, Let's get some power. That's going to be a uh, catalog and insight. Just need the fluids. How quickly does this consume? Not very for any individual item. And then we just need... We need Iridium Plate to get here at some point. Uh, we're going to need that earlier on in the build. Maybe we could make this less uh, horizontal and more vertical. So the earlier parts in the build can be up here. We'll see. So this is part that requires four different uh, inputs plus the fluid. So that's going to look pretty much the same. And how many machines is this though? Uh, 22 as opposed to 15. I think we'll start with this. Like so. Uh, except this one, obviously not. Let's just double check those all have two different inputs. Seems good to me. And same thing on the opposite side. That's not right. There we go. And that should be that. Feels a bit asymmetrical, but I think doing it differently is going to look more so. Okay. Um, so that is going to be the four datas. Now we just have to build those. Um, we require thermodynamics facility times two, mechanical facility times two. Well, probably more than that, but... Okay. 
Okay, I already had them. Semo Dynamics Facility. Alright, so first is coal. Next is hot. Tensile and compressive. Cool. These require fluids. Um, this requires the usual coolant. Wait, how many are we going to need? I think we'll speed module these as well. And, okay, so we're just looking at cold thermodynamics data. How many of those do we need? It's 2.7 per second for all of them. Okay, let's make a little note of that. And how many of these do I need for 2.7 per second? Uh, 11, it looks like. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. I'm surprised I need so many, um, to keep up with this. And that is a lot of contaminated scrap. Hey, I am sir. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, are we overproducing this enough that we could actually support the whole thing with 10? Let's see. Judging by significant data, we definitely are. Not so sure about material catalogs, though. That's the thing that we have to be concerned about. Um, and insight isn't going to make a difference, I don't think. Material catalogue, we're like 0.03, less than 0.03 short of not making enough. And one machine does 0.18. So... I'm pretty sure, without doing the exact math, if we underproduce this at all, um, it's going to bottleneck the whole thing. Best overproduce? Yeah, I just didn't want to do an odd number of these. But if we have to do an odd number of each thing, it might work out to be neat and tidy. Let's see. I'm not sure how much... This is probably going to end up requiring a lot of space. Um, I think we'll do these together like so. And... You know what? Why not just do 12? How many outputs does this have? Two physical. And how fast is it? Very slow. Okay. Well, really I should probably use yellow for this, although I think if I start looking at where I should have used yellow inserters, I'm going to find a lot. Let's just stick with the theme. There's massive overabundance of power in space anyway, since all you have to do is throw down a little bit of solar. Um, why don't we put the pipes down? How much fluid is this? Hardly anything, really. So, as usual, we don't really need to worry about the shape of the piping. Um... That doesn't... Oh, that's fine. 
Maybe drop one speed module from some of them to balance it out. I just default to stacks on everything. Yeah. I just want to... I just want to slightly overproduce everything. If I can't get literally perfect ratio, I would rather see everything backing up, but slowly. Okay, um, so we need to spirit away our... Oh, these are supposed to be filter inserters, actually. So that is all... Domo Dynamics data. Can we get rid of the flashing, please? Missed one. Whoops. And I did it again. There we go. And this is going to produce only 3.12 per second. Oh, it also does blank... Oh, it consumes blank data cards. Okay. Is that all it consumes? And material testing packs. Alright. Um, I think we'll probably... I want to maybe end up doing some of these on the sides. I don't know. How many of these are we going to need for two point... Oh, it's exactly the same. Yeah, I'll do 12 of these as well. Um, same inputs except for the fluid. Basically the same outputs. So we'll start with this. And... Well, I guess that could rotate like so. Make it look kind of the same. And we need to change this to hot. Oh, I forgot to add the... Contaminated scrap output. Let's move these apart a little bit more. Actually, one, two, three. Uh, we could probably do a shared belt for all of the contaminated scrap coming out of this. The total is 49.92 per second. Wow. So not one belt. This part can share a belt, though. Contaminated scrap. And... Over here. And for that, I think we'll just bring it back this way. And merge it into a couple of lanes. Um, although we'll see what the inputs end up looking like first. A L puncher. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so this is going over here. Let's just double check. We don't need a huge amount of plasma. Not even close. Just put that there for consistency for the moment. Okay. Um, wait. Did I not leave room for the inputs? Okay, how fast do these consume? Very slowly. That works. So I guess... 
Once again, I find myself wishing for long arm filter inserters. Just gonna have to have a unnecessary amount of belt for this, I think. Although we could do a... Well, either we have to do like a input belt in the middle, and then we'll have like extra belt for the output. Or we need to have extra belt on the outside. Unless we make... How far does this reach? Not far enough. Unless we make the inputs dip in and out like that. Although I feel like uh, the output... Let, let's move these over a bit. I usually like to do the inputs in pairs like so. So that's gonna go there. Except we're gonna skip over that. Where would this be normally? Okay. Oops. And same thing on the other side. Might need more room for this. Oh, I don't have the pipes up there, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, flip that around. And I just realized we're not going to need this part. And this one can be a bit closer, I guess. Actually, that's going to interfere with the pipes. Let's just leave that there for now. Okay. So we got our... We definitely only need one belt for input. Yeah, that'll be fine. It'll have to be a shared belt. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Except that should be fine. Yeah, I'll just do it like that, I guess. Alright, just to double check, this isn't going to overwhelm a belt. 24.96 scrap per second. Um... And we have separate belts for the inputs for these. Let's make sure we have room for the pipes. And... That seems perfectly fine. Yeah, I think that's it. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, this doesn't actually... This side doesn't actually need the... Well, I think if only one side requires the pipes for this one, I would like that to be in the middle. Uh, 
Um, so we're going to have to rotate these around. That seems okay. And that is only two of the four of these we need to build. And these ones are a lot more complicated. It sometimes outputs, a, it needs a iridium plate and sometimes outputs it. Uh, it also makes finished product, scrap, and contaminated cosmic water. These two are identical in that respect. They also require... Do all of these need the same inputs? Material testing, physically. Uh, material testing and blank. Material testing and blank. Material testing blank. Material testing blank. And both of these require iridium plate plus a single other physical. So these need two belts of inputs. Um... But yeah, blank data card plus material testing pack on a shared belt is going to go a long way. Uh, ultimately, I should figure out how many of these I need first. I bet it's going to be 11. Uh, where is the... Yeah, 11. So I think this is largely going to be the same shape, except... Well, no, I don't, actually. If not for the Iridium plate sometimes being returned, um, it would be the same layout, except that we have to spirit away the contaminated cosmic water. Okay. For starters, we need... Oh, I, I want to know if... Let's put these together first. Um, I want to know if we need another belt to support the blank data cards and material testing packs. 6.2 and... 18.72 is still not more than half a belt. I think we're probably be going to be able to have just the one belt going in uh, to supply all of those two resources. And I think, since we need two belts here, the individual resources go in quite slowly. Um, we're probably going to do the pipe a bit like this. Possibly. Which begs the question of where this stuff is going to go. Hmm. Okay. There isn't... Oh, there is actually. We could still do the piping like this, I think. for the input fluid. Output fluid's gonna be down here somewhere. Um, but the tricky part is the physical outputs. Hmm.
if we used chests, uh, well, no, we'd have to have like, never mind. All in the same belt, just filter them off, maybe. How much output is there gonna be? Three, six, nine, oh, that's input. Uh, three plus 18, 21, about 22, 23 per second. We could definitely output it all to one belt and then we just have to make sure it gets where it needs to go. I would like to be able to put the Iridium plates directly back into the system if I can, but I don't think there's going to be a particularly elegant way to do that. Um, considering what we're going to have to deal with here. I mean, I could just put extra inserters to pick the stuff up from here, but... I don't, that's not going to be particularly effective. When machines don't need it, they'll let it go past. Provided they don't get backed up. Yeah, we have to make sure there's, like, storage space for them. Uh, even if that storage space is just room on a belt, like in this example. Uh, and then we have to priority input the stuff that's in storage. Uh, to make sure that doesn't clog the whole system up. Okay, so let's suppose that this is going to be the shape of things. Um, and we're just going to do some filtered outputs over here later. Material testing pack. Well, first of all, I think we'll take the finished product. Sorry, which one was it? Data... Uh, Tensile? Yeah, Tensile. Right, so Tensile goes here. Everything else, which is Iridium Plate and Scrap, goes this way. I think this is the only one that produce. these two are the ones that produce regular Scrap. Everything else that uh, produces either contaminated scrap, or junk data cards. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to end up with about the same shape for these ones. That's the same output fluid as well. Wait, is this? It's actually the same input and output fluid. Uh, five and one. It's even the same ratio and cost per recipe. Uh, that's facing the wrong way. Okay. I think I forgot to double check, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be the exact same ratio. Yep. Okay. So is it going to be the same situation with this? Scrap and Iridium Plate are the problem outputs. Yeah, it's going to be exactly the same. So we'll put that here. That goes there. Uh, we will need the two belts of input. We'll copy this part. Not there. Um, I don't know if I've left room. Oh. This can probably share a belt. Because they'll have, um... Uh, blank data cards and 
material testing packs and common. And it's definitely slow enough. Cool. I think I'll start putting in some illustrations. And blank data code. I guess we'll stick with that being the long arm input. Hey, Imo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The other two in this case are Iridium Plate and Steel. And in the case of this one, Iridium Plate and Concrete. Alright, so all of this stuff bar the material testing packs are going to come from the bus. Oops. What's next? Scrap and iridium plate goes here. Right. I guess we need to merge this. Wait, what's the total output from all of that for the scrap stuff? 37, that's a considerable amount. I'm going to need to merge that properly. And... Uh, it is less than one belt though, right? 37.4 plus 1.56. Easy. Although this is probably... I was going to say this would be a good opportunity to separate them. Um, which, I guess... There was something down the line here that required Iridium Plate, but I think it's literally just the last machine... Yes. But could I maybe just, instead of pushing it back in a loop, I could send that down that way, but make it a priority? Hmm. Could I do it a bit cleaner if this was on this side? Okay. Iridium plate. And that is... This is just a very, very rough markup. But that's going to go to the final machine. But we need to make it a priority. Like, that this... The Iridium plates from here aren't going to be enough to feed it, but we need um, the Iridium Plate Supply to merge into that, but for this to be the higher priority. Except... Yeah, no, that should be okay. Just this'll be enough, I think. Okay. So, Iridium Plate go burn. This one requires these two. Um, we also need the fluids to see this in action. Let's grab some infinity pipes. For now, I'll just put these over here. Okay. 
lubricant and lubricant and lubricant as for you uh exactly zero please Is it morning for you, Hux? Nope, it is evening. Uh, about 7pm to be precise. This doesn't look right. Oh, the scrap doesn't have anywhere to go just yet. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Oh, that's the wrong filter. We need... There we go. Let's just tidy this up for now. That's looking good. I doubt we're going to have any issues. Um supplying enough of this stuff. Oh, this one... That's the wrong belt for this. Maybe I'll change it so that the... so that this goes here. Except for in the middle. So that this will be a nice, clean look. Although, I guess down here it's... Oh yeah, these are all the same size, so it is going to line up. Nice. Alright. Get rid of all that stuff. And then... Swap these. Uh, I think I forgot to clean up this one as well. Do you live in Japan? No, I do not. Uh, down under. Yes, indeed. Okay. So that is one, two, and we need these inputs as well. And this one is void pipe. Which one is it? This one? Wait, what? Exactly 0%. There we go. Why is this one? That looks kind of weird. I, I know they're doing the same thing, but... That looks very odd. Okay. And then we need some coolant. Uh, not on this side though. Over here instead. Um, we do need to get rid of all this scrap. Guess that looks a little bit neater. How much scrap is this going to produce? 37. The whole thing barely goes over one belt, which is a little bit sad. Maybe it would be better to deal with the contaminated scrap here instead of trying to have um, this thing up here deal with it. Wait, what? Oh, that's an output of contempt. I see. Yeah, 
This thing takes contaminated scrap. Only 13.3 per second. It's going to be tri uh, tricky figuring out where I'm going to fit. Uh, if I'm going to do a centrally located scrap processing area and where I'm going to fit it. Uh, oops, there it is. We're still making the pieces of the jigsaw at this stage. This will deal with 34.67, so we definitely need... Uh, which one of these deals with scrap? None of them. This, this one does. Okay, so this is just the contaminated bio sludge and the cosmic water. And it's actually super overkill to have a ratio of one to one to one for these. Uh, contaminated bio sludge, contaminated cosmic water. Whatever the case, I think we're going to need a few of these machines all together next to each other. Preferably close to all of this mess, I think. Although, it probably still makes sense to... to send scrap all to one place. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get caught up and spend too much time designing... Uh, how we're going to deal with... The, the scrap and contaminated scrap in the middle of designing this thing. Maybe it does make sense just to have a bus go all the way back up here. Yeah, I think it does. So we're going to have two belts for uh, contaminated scrap. Merge that in properly. And then... We'll just make this bigger and have a better ratio. Not worry about doing it nearby. So for now, we're just going to delete all of that stuff. Uh, we're going to have a similar thing going on with scrap itself. If we shape these the same, we're going to have to have this go around the outside, which is fine. And this one. I feel like I've... Oh, that doesn't work the same way as this. Yeah, I was going to say I thought I messed up something there. Okay, so that's just going to be like so. And then... Oh, we need to merge these. I think I saw a good trick for that on another stream. But wait, what's the throughput going to be for each of these? 
It's actually quite low. 3.12 per second. 3.12, 3.12, Okay. Well, what I was going to do is going to look a little something like this. Uh, thank you for the follow, El Presidenta. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where's the... It's going to look... Is it like this? I think I've confused myself. Okay, so you have your two different inputs coming in like so. And then... I think it was like this, actually. Both inputs go through this. That resource goes to that side. That resource goes to that side. Yeah, that's it. So that's how to do it when more throughput is needed. But in this case, all we're going to have to do is this. And we will need to split it. and send it over to the other input. Um, so that's going to be these two. Uh, hmm. Not sure the best way to shape this, just to make it look nice. Uh, we're obviously going to want this part to be in the middle. Wait, what? Oh, this belt is not supposed to... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so this is right smack in the middle. Uh, I guess we could just do it like that. It's going to look the same on this side. Yeah, I can live with that. But we're going to need to split those off. I don't think there's a particularly neat way to do this part. One of them's just going to have to stick out more or less. Okay, now why are there only... Because we haven't got the blanks and thingies over here. Also, this belt. Wait, where's the input for this? Up here. Uh, something is not right about this part. Okay, I think we'll copy what we have over here a little bit. That's not quite it. There we go. And then input pairings go here. Output. 
yeah. No, that was wrong, what I saw earlier. Okay. That goes there. Except that we don't need the piping. And... That probably won't be the same. That looks a bit weird, I'm not sure what happened there. Okay. Does that give us our final product? Yes. Right, so that should be all four items required for this stuff. Fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, we've ended up with these pipes sort of on opposite sides for what might be convenient, but that's okay. Oh. Oh, these things use output as well. Um, yeah, I think we'll just do it like this. And like so. And then we need the output fluid doesn't have to go down here. All right. That'll do. Also needs to go down this way. For the moment, let's get rid of these. So those are our insights. Hmm. That should be fine. Okay, what about the catalogs? We are getting some catalogs already. Did we ratio something wrong? Oh, this thing's not working. Wait, what? Oh, right. Okay, this should go here, actually. And just like up that end, it's going to go up this way. There's a bunch not with inputs. Looks like they're almost all working now. It's kind of hard to see. One's in the middle without inputs. One's in the middle of which set of buildings? Not the computers? The big white ones. These things? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh... Since these need different resources, this middle one has to be here. And 
then Okay. That's looking good. And that should hopefully give us enough of those other resources. Once we see this hit the end of the belt, we should know um, that there's enough. But let's check the ratio anyway. Uh, the thing we're looking for is hot thermodynamics data. And it should be overproducing. It's going to take a moment before we can see it, though. Got a love delay? Yes, indeed. Thermodynamics. I know their names now. Fantastic. Okay. So I think this is working. This part could obviously be a little bit closer together, although considering what we're going to have to do with the pipes, I'm tentative on that. Um, we're also going to need to produce a uh, plasma stream. How much plasma stream do we need to make? And I can't remember which facility we make that in. Pla plasma stream? Uh, what? Okay. Stone, chemical gel, and plasma generator. Plasma. We can do one stone, ca ten chemical gel for a hundred plasma, or... Oh, that's just for unpacking canisters, which we don't have that in our game anyway. Okay, how many of these do we need? This is only 31.2 per second, and this only produces 3.3 per second, actually. Huh. That's before we speed module it, but even so, we're going to need more than one. 8.6, uh, so we're going to need four of them, right? Yeah. Okay, and that requires chemical gel and stone, which is, stone is going to be on the bus, chemical gel, fluid, not going to be so hard to get here. The only question is where I want to fit this. If we need four of them... Hmm... It wouldn't really make sense to squeeze them in here, would it? How much physical input do we need? Very little. Very, very little, actually. Maybe it would make sense. If we put this, like... Here. And here. And... No, I don't think so. Better to just put it off to the side. We can always change how we do this little belt. Or why don't we do it over this way? 
We'll have to squeeze a belt of stone in to get all the way back here somewhere, but that's okay. Some speed and some pipes. And some more pipes. Um, I guess we can connect this one over here. Stone will go in somewhere like this. Which means we're not gonna have to move that at all. Okay. So that's where our stone is gonna come from. What I specifically like about the SE is that production building's visual design seems to be mostly in one consistent clean style. Whereas pie one moment may look good, the next moment weird. Hmm. Solar field will need to be expanded to support this build. Oh, absolutely. Uh, although it is very easy to get uh, more power in orbit around Nalvis, at least. Uh, flat solar panel gives us uh, 3.7 megawatts 24-7. And this whole thing... If we set this to electricity... Uh, the... Last science build that we finished, we're looking at maximum Oh. I need to get rid of this thing in the equation. Uh we're looking at a total of one point three five gigawatts which is uh, quite a lot, actually. Are you not? Oh, that is, that is a little more than I was expecting. So we're looking at, we're looking in the ballpark of 10,000 flat solar panels to support the base we're going to build. 3,000 odd panels, so a nice big field. Or beam up some rocks and make space nuclear. Yeah, I just might do that, at least at first. Can't we just run a power cable all the way back down to the planet? Also, let's add some of this. I guess we can get rid of these. What else? This isn't moving. What's happening? Uh, oh, I guess that's just what eventually happens, actually. That's fine. So is that all working correctly? Have we taken everything back to what comes from the main bus or a fluid pipe? 
Uh, we haven't done the material testing packs yet. But other than that, maybe. Okay. Can we use some long arms for this? Maybe. Let's move this over a little bit. And just direct insert those significant data. Why do we not have material? Oh, we do have material insight. Can you stop turning off the cheats? There we go. I guess I could, uh, I could just build this without the speed modules to start with. Until we have more power. Or just build fewer machines. But I think I, I'll keep the blueprint. What else do we need here? Iridium plate. Which is... I'll look something like this. Actually, okay, so that pipe is... Pipe? Belt. That belt is the excess iridium plate. The main consumer of iridium plates in this whole thing... Uh, I believe is the this machine right here 6.6 .6 per second versus 6.2 per second it's like half uh, slightly more than half so it's probably okay to just Priority merge the iridium plates from up here into here, right? Like to keep the profile of the rest of this thing as small as possible. And we need some fluid here as well. Fantastic, that's everything. So now we need to get the uh, junk data cards back to where they need to go. We need to get um, blank data cards back to the bus. And we need to produce uh, material testing packs, which I believe just required regular old assemblers. Although it might be, depending on how many we need, we might do it this way. Material testing pack. All right, so the whole thing for material testing packs consumes Uh, 37.44 per second, less than one belt. Excellent. Sorry, how much was it? 37.44. So that is only 0.65 per second from one of these. 6.8 for this. Uh, 
that should be 24, 40, 34, that's not enough. Is it? 37.44. So I either need to build six of these. Or I need to build... Uh, 58 of these. Yikes. This is only 32. This is what it would take to be equivalent to this. I think this is going to be a bit more space efficient and neat. Not to mention lower UPS. Oh, higher UPS. Five big ones and a few small ones? Um could. Nah. This will be neater. So this just requires... I think the input is quite slow. Okay, it's not exactly slow. Um, 6.8 per second for each resource. For each machine. Uh, so we can only do three of them. On oh, a pair of belts. Which is okay. We just have to separate these like so. Actually, this will be fine. Where's my substations? Where's my space belt? I wish I knew what was triggering the switching off of cheat mode. Okay, let's put these as close together as we can. And this can go down here. Whoops. Substation right about here. Where's my belt? There we go. Get rid of these, please. Why do I have regular belt? There we go. Okay. So we need two belts of input. Nice and easy. Iron, copper... Plastic and stone. Control E? What? Space efficient? Probably a shortcut. Control E? Wait, what? Oh, that's the editor mode. Yeah, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, for some reason, only with space exploration, when I'm using the uh, editor extensions mod. Um, see how I can instantly craft anything uh, for free? Um, for some reason, that switches itself off all of the time, which is a slight nuisance. Okay. Um, we also need blank data cards here. Is there anywhere that... Okay, so everywhere we have a belt with material testing packs. Uh, we do the blank data cards as well. 
I don't suppose we can squeeze that in through here. No, not without better belts. Or if we move this up a bit, that's a bit easier. And we could have the uh, testing packs coming in this way. Not the testing packs, the... Um, the blank data cards from the bus. Blank data card. Okay. Let's get rid of those. Split this three ways. That would probably be a bit neater. And this goes here. I use editor extension with SE and never have to turn it on. Hmm. Also, welcome, welcome, Wago and Sleela. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so let's just double check. This is going to be way more, well, a little bit more um, material testing packs than we need. Good. And it's less than one belt. Wait a sec. 37.4 per second, but we're bottlenecking it on, uh, we're bottlenecking it on half a belt here, so this is actually somewhere where we need to merge those like I illustrated earlier. We can easily turn this into two belts, um, but then we need to split off from one of those. But um, I just want to double check actually the rate that we need the material testing packs from each one of these three belts is not going to be a problem. 9.3 per second. This is the one that's going to be an issue. Uh, 9.36, and this one is 18. That's less than half of a belt, so that'll be fine. The only question is uh, whether merging them like this is, and then stealing from one side of them is going to cause any issues. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot the filter. Data card. There we go. And now it's on the opposite side over here. We can fix that. So, does half of all of this support two thirds of the consumption? I don't think so. I guess if we This doesn't sound like this doesn't look like we're getting um 
40 per second. What's going on? Oh, the long arms are too slow. Okay. I think we will change the way this is laid out. Like so. And this one's going to be a bit more straightforward. Also, where is that power coming from? That's this thing. Need some substations over here. Uh, that doesn't look quite right. There we go. Okay. Looked at my game and the wiki. No clear answer on slash cheat mode being disabled. Hmm. Interesting. So... I guess we could split these like so and then do a proper 2 to 3 balancer. Or... Uh, underground belts aren't going to be long enough for this, I don't think. If that goes there, and then this one... What? Let's move this a little bit. I think... I think I have the answer. Maybe. Alright, so that goes there. We swap this. We do the same thing on this side. And then... Oops. Like this. Let's put some item deletion at the end of these belts. That does not appear to be what I'm looking for. <laughs> what was I thinking here? This should go like this. Yeah, that looks about right. Why isn't this keeping up? We need some stack inserters. Or even more inserters. Looks like one stack inserter is bare is actually not keeping up. Wow. Okay, how about two stack inserters for each resource? And just to make sure I don't mess it up. Seems like it is... I was gonna say working. 
What's wrong with this? No stuff. Well, that definitely doesn't look right. Oh. Oops. Let's make sure that lines up the same. Okay, that should do it. Look at him go. Although this one is still managing to stop sometimes. Seems a little excessive. Make them stack filter inserters? So that they just focus on the one resource each? Maybe. Uh, let's see. What am I looking for? Stone. Plastic. Iron. And copper. And then I think we'll have to flip the inputs up here. Um, delete the star. Actually, let's just pick it up. Oops, don't take the life support. Alright. Let's see if that makes a difference. I think it does. We did see it stop ever so briefly. Uh, how much are we theoretically supposed to overproduce here? Only by about three per second. Well, if that's actually insufficient, we could always just put more inserters. Two inserters try to insert one resource while production is blocked by another one. Yeah. Okay. So why isn't this in motion? Because we're not consuming the final product. Where'd it go? Why am I slowly gaining in... Because cheats are off again. Okay. Alright. So, Iridium Plate is the one thing we're not getting from the bus now. And I want to make sure that this priority insert, uh, priority insert for Iridium plates down here is going to be good enough.
And away we go. Oh, that insert is not fast enough. Alright, let's see. Should get a little bit of radium plate coming through here. We need to consume some more of this stuff first. Alright, let's maybe give it a hand. Away we go. Alright, Iridium Plate goes down this way. And... The stack inserter is consuming from that side of the belt. Okay. I think we need a lane balancer here. And I'm just trying to think of the best way to do it. If we do a wide one, it just barely fits here. That's not that bad, actually. It's actually a really good fit. I guess we can get rid of that, although the right side would still make sense. And we should see any iridium that comes up this way immediately get eaten. Although we need to actually see this backed up first. That seems pretty good. Fantastic. Uh, so all this is is a regular lane balancer, but with a priority input for this belt. And the reason it needs to be a lane balancer is the consumption was only happening on the southern side of the belt. So, half of it goes through one of these, which allows things to swap sides if necessary. The other half just goes through as normal. And then we're priority inputting from this belt. Okay. Is that just about all of it? I wonder if I could figure out where the data cards are going to come back to. So we've already dealt with the excess uh, Iridium plate. We're going to need to deal with. Uh, you know what? I think. Um, oh, that's a lot of junk data cards. I, I thought it was going to be like a rare output for a minute there, but yeah, we're going to have to belt all of the junk out, junk data cards from all of the sciences to be dealt with somewhere. But for now. Um, I could squeeze it through the middle somewhere, but I don't really want to do that. Blank data cards down here seem a bit sparse. Oh, right. 
And here I was thinking I found a great place to merge them in. So I think I want the blank data cards to come all the way back to... It really is a little bit irritating not being able to have longer underground belts sometimes. We could make this a bit more spacious. Actually, I think the thing to do here would be to move all of this back a little bit. Figure out how close together this has to be. I think, uh, I think literally just a tile is going to do it. And does it matter if we only merge it into one side? can go to the middle. It can get consumed by three quarters of the entire thing. That should be fine, considering the... Uh, we're going to be net consuming like four per second, actually. But yeah, I mean, as long as we're Hmm. Will it map? Well, let's test it and find out. I'll do a priority input here. And we'll bring these... Oops. Bring these blank data cards up like so. I guess an underground would make sense there, actually. Bring this down. Why is that facing the wrong way? Bring that down here. And... Back this way. Right. So now we need to just see that running for a little bit. It's either that or move these machines even further back, or maybe this contraption could move forward a bit, and we'll still have room for whatever pipes we need. And I think I like this better, actually. Just, uh... Priority input that. And like so. And the piping, well, worst case, we could have it go over here seems to be fine. This one... that's actually even worse. Hmm. Could probably... I want... the build is basically complete, but I want to make sure I leave enough room for pipes or whatever else is needed. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be Pretty trivial at this point. I can connect lubricant pipes here. Yeah, there's lots of places we could connect things. How will you fit the liquid inputs? That's what we're looking at. 
Wait, what? Oh, it's like jammed or something. Wait, what is going on here? Oh. Uh, hmm. Uh, that could be a problem. Um, is this going to self-correct? Or is it going to eventually jam itself? What are we missing? It didn't do this before, right? Also, if blank data cards are going to be coming up this way, the main bus entry may as well not slide in through here. And we can just do a regular old priority input like this. Okay, let's remove this for now, put it in place. And see if this is something that'll jam itself or free itself. We could always just set this up so that we read belt contents over here. Um, I mean, this would work, except it'll slow things down. Less than eight. That's still going to slow things down, right? No, it's only a half going through. Wait, what? I guess that makes sense. It's still going to block things. Hey, I'm not sure how to go about this. Why is it not... Should we just do priority input on the left? I don't know if that's gonna... help. Hmm. 
Maybe it does. How do I make a contraption that merges and splits into three of these without bottlenecking it down to one belt? First splitter occasionally makes mess, yeah. Uh, let's think about this. And I'll just remind myself the amount of these we need to produce is 37.4 per second, so most of a uh, belt. More importantly, it's more than half a belt, so we can't just... What? Wait, what? I literally... Didn't I literally just turn cheat mode on, or did I mistype it? There we go. Yeah, so I, I can't just do something like this. Um, if I split it and then merge it, merge the two different... Um, it's going to take up more space than I want it to if I do that. I was hoping there's a more clever way to do it. Gonna look something like that. That's probably fine, actually. In fact, it's gonna be about the same size. Alright, let's get rid of this contraption. And see how this goes. Except we need to split it into three. And we're left back with the problem of Taking either half and sending it here isn't going to be good enough. Um, we could add this. could go here. And this might look a little bit better. That should be it, right? They're not going to get in each other's way if we do it this way. Yeah, that, that should do it, I think. What about pipes? That might look a little bit better. I would still like to connect the lubricant up here if I can. We could always just connect those like so, with a bit more underground belt. Oh, I didn't really think about where this was going to come in from the main bus either, but that should be trivial to solve. Uh, does all of this use less than a belt? 3.1 steel and 3.1 iridium plate. And put some... Oh, that's the wrong way around. Some undergrounds over here.
Priority is wrong on the splitter that merges the blank data cards. Oh, tree. Oops. Good catch, thank you. Yeah, so as long as those go in first, that should be fine. Um, lane balancing won't matter because they're all going to one side of the belt anyway. This one could be a little bit of a problem. Okay. How about we split that from there? Bring this all the way back here. These don't have to be so close together, but... Either way. So it's going to be the same with the concrete and iridium plate. Way less consumption than half a belt for each. Oh, that's inconvenient. No, that's fine, actually. And here. I guess we can do that like so. Actually, no, that's fine. All right. Right, so apart from fluids, which we've definitely left room for, um, I think we're not teleporting anything in except what would come in from the main bus. Oh, this is looking a bit uh, I don't think I can merge it in like this, can I? No, not with that one. That'll be fine. That's just going to favor the opposite side instead, though, isn't it? I don't really want to bother to put a lane balancer, well, belt balancer in for this. But I guess we kind of have to. I could move this over a tile. And then both of these would occupy the opposite side instead. Doesn't really change anything. Okay. I think that just about does it for material science. Fairly happy with that. Alright, next one is uh, a bigger challenge, I think. Is that all in range? Yeah, it is. Go, bots, go. Is a little bit missing. All right. Uh, let's start with the final product again. I swear it's taking like three seconds to turn off the cheats every time now. Uh, science one. Nope. 
Biological Science Pack 1. Vitamelange Extract. I'm uh, pretty sure we're gonna take that directly from the ground. So that's gonna be coming off the bus. Uh, we're also gonna need, like, at least one other type of vitamelange. And how do we get our significant data? That's looking pretty straightforward. Speed modules just in the small one. Uh, we're going to need two of these. Again, I think I'll copy this layout right here to start with. Except this is going to be biological simulation. So just to confirm, that is definitely enough uh, significant data. These things produce a lot of blank data cards. Again, then we need uh, biological insights. And we can probably just copy paste this and change the recipes to start with. So we probably might not need something like that. Bio, bio, and bio. Okay, how many of these do we need to support this? 4.653 biological insight per second. Why is there a lack of speed modules in this one? But not from where we copy-pasted it. Okay, then. Um, what were we looking at? 4.653. 13, again. I think it was 13. Earlier. Yeah, this is 13. Okay. So, this is 12 and 13. Cheat mode didn't have any to give you on pasting. I have them in my inventory, so I don't think that's it. Besides which, um, there's, even if when cheat mode turns off, we've got infinity storage chests. They contain every item in the game, um, and that's within the range of the overpowered robots. So it should have appeared in any case. All right, double check ratio. Very nice. And let me guess, we're going to need uh, 15 of these. Uh, insight. Uh, catalog, rather. Two, four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yep. Let's have a look at that ratio. Uh, that is looking exactly right. Okay, cool. So far, so copy, paste, change recipe. And the only other thing is vitamelange extract, which is actually going to be um, 
just like the Iridium Plate brought in by Belt, probably like this. Okay, let's add some of this. Uh, consumers stop here. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. And then, like so. Hang on. Four, eight, sixteen. No, 4, 8, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. Okay. And these ones require four inputs. Uh, input for each individual item is quite slow. It's gonna look a lot like this. And this. Okie dokie. Oh, don't forget this one. Just like up here. Well, I thought this would be the hardest, but so far we get to copy-paste uh, what we've already done with material science. Well, not the hardest one, but the hardest one I'll probably do today. Next is these four abominations. Uh, we require bio... Bustion data. Thermo, mechanical. We need four different machines. Thermodynamics facilities. Uh, mechanical facilities. Biochemical facilities. And genetic data requires genetics facility. Okay. Biocombustion. Biomechanical. Biochemical. And genetic. And how many machines is it going to take to satisfy this? Let's see. For biocombustion... Oh, they're all 2.7 again. And it produces 0.39. Oh, 7. Just gonna make a count for how many we need for each machine first, for a decide what to do. 2.7 per second. Oh, this is exactly 0.1. Okie dokie. 2.7 is obviously... Oh, wait, we need speed modules. There we go. Uh, this is going to be 11 machines. Four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Um, in order to get 2.7 per second of this, oh, we literally just need three. It's a lot of 
fluid output as well. Okay. There's no way we can rotate these to fit together nicely, is there? I don't think so. In fact, none of these ones in the middle line up here. We can do that one there, but then these... Yeah, no. I think they're just going to have to be sitting a bit further apart from each other than I would like. Most likely. And how many genetics facilities do we require? Oh, just one? Really? But it consumes 104 bio sludge per second. Okay. Uh, let's just double check if that is sufficient. 10 genetic data per second. Oh, there's something else over here, I think, that consumes genetic data. So we'll have to see. But the other ones are looking good. Uh, we're not producing any biomass. Um, again, do we produce biomass? Bio, 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 bio. Bio. Why can't I find it? Biomass. B I O M A S S. That's weird. A while back someone mentioned the bio sludge loop to you. Did you end up doing it? Yes. Uh, the very basic, like, minimum machine count sushi belt system uh, did get it working with net positive um, biomass. The, oh, not biomass, sorry, the bio sludge. I'm not sure... I imagine it's going to be difficult to get good ratios with uh, having to produce the biomass as well, at uh, bio sludge. Um, but yeah, how do I find out how to make biomass? I think we needed another one of these. Bioculture is definitely something we have to make. So that's where a lot of the genetic data is going to go, I think. It needs 10, but it only consumes 1. Uh, how do we make biomass? Couldn't get to the keyboard in time, but... One of your inserters on your last part of that build is wrongly oriented, about halfway into the build in the center line. Like here? Or... Over here. Oh, like this? This is actually deliberate. Because we needed an odd number of each of these sets of machines. So they've got one sticking out here. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for letting me know anyway. Matt Scratch, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, don't know if I said Mass420. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. I'm away. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Been a bit more wrapped up in the design process than usual. Don't 
to insert is try to insert one reason. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, nutrient gel. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that as well. Okay, how am I going to check which building creates biome? Oh, here we go. Uh, growth facility. Growth facility. Ooh, unit capsule. I think I remember starting the game with one of those. Okay, biomass. That requires biocultures, nutrient gels, and so on. Oh, it... Bioculture plus nutrient gel makes biomass. I've lost my way. This happened the first time I tried to design this stuff as well. It's... Designing uh, bioscience is very easy to get lost. There's just so much going on and looping in on itself and stuff. Okay, so where was I? Uh, we had checked all of these ratios, except for... We're not sure about genetic data. Because it's going to have to be consumed elsewhere in the build as well. Um, I really don't know where to start at this point. So this requires biomass blank and plasma stream. And outputs this nasty stuff. That's not right. Well, I guess if I'm overwhelmed by the big picture for this, I should probably just put some time into building some of the smaller pieces. So let's look at this to start with. Blank data cards, biomass, and we have to deal with junk data cards on the way out. Um, I th So two physical inputs, two physical outputs. I may want to put some of these closer together for space, maybe not. Uh, what's the rate for the physical inputs? Quite slow. So we'll just do a shared belt for that. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I keep coming back to the same question, but I think this is the way to go about it here. Even though this looks like it's jammed, um, the important thing is the main product that we're making here is, like, fully backed up. Is this thing on? What are we missing? Significant data. Oh. Uh-oh. I think we're having some problems with um, the priority input for the data cards. We are input prioritizing this side. If I just pick some of these up, I don't think that's going to be enough to get the whole thing going again.
maybe I could make more of a strict input priority here, like this part has to be empty to let any of this through. Everything equals zero. Read belt contents hold. But, I don't know, if that was going to work, shouldn't it be enough? Alright, so the whole thing's sort of waiting for this to catch up. Why don't you have compressive strength data? Because there's no lubricant? What? Okay, that would probably help. Which suggests to me that we don't need this circuitry. All right, we'll leave that running for a while and see if it's still in motion later on. I think the lanes are full with blank cards at the material cards. Yeah, they were blank, uh, they were full up here, so we weren't making material simulations anymore. And therefore weren't consuming blank data cards. This is all taking from one side. Well, it seems to be getting consumed pretty quickly. I could put a lane balancer here. Is there any reason not to? I, I don't know how necessary it is actually though. Let's get back to the bioscience. The bottom machines don't have material pipes? Oh, so they don't. Let's fix that one up as well. Uh, this goes here. Let's drain all of these until we're sure. That one looks okay. And that one's fine. And this should be fine now. All right. So why did this get jammed? Because there was... because I forgot to put the lubricant back, basically. Okay, so that should stay in motion. This one is obviously staying in motion. Fantastic. Look at all those beautiful telescopes. Okay. Let's continue. Um... I think we'll do the same thing here as we did to get rid of the scrap up this way. Except instead of scrap, it is junk data cards. And I think we'll take the junk data cards over to this general direction. I, I think we're going to end up with a few science builds that are sticking out to the left of the base, junk data cards are being produced here, here, and here. We can have a belt that just takes them somewhere. Okay. And so on. And I guess this goes here. And input goes 
goes this way. Uh, that can just stop there. And our junk data cards. Go this way. I was just looking at one possibility, but I don't see the room for it. I was hoping to put the underground belts through here for the junk data cards, but no. Not enough room for the corners. Okay. And that means this is biocombustion data. Biocombustion data. Cool. Uh, just to double check, that is definitely not going to be half a belt. Fantastic. I guess we could shorten this bit a little bit. And I guess if we keep producing these things on just half a belt, they're going to be easier to merge. But this one's very long. I think we'll cut that in half or as close as we can to doing that. Wait, is this still... Uh, I think I confused myself. We want 11 of these, I believe. Let's just double check. Uh, what... what are they producing? Biochemical... biomechanical data. Yeah, that's... that's gonna be enough. All right, what are your outputs? Only one physical output, fantastic. Oh, and it actually has the same physical input as this stuff. So... Kinda sad that I didn't put that on that side, it's fine. All right, so two physical inputs, one physical output, and a couple of waste fluids. Nice and easy, this one. Two, three, four, five. And away we go. All right, so far so relatively easy. Um, oh wait, oh that's a problem. Okay, spoke too soon. Two fluid outputs means we need to util uh, utilize the the sides. So let's move that over a bit, shall we? It's definitely going to take up more space than this. Um, unfortunately, I can't line up these together and... I could do it like this. 
It'll if I do it that close together, it's gonna complain. Like you can do it, but it'll say that there's gonna be uh, mixed fluids. I guess we could just do it like that. Oh, that doesn't reach. That's a little frustrating. I'm very tempted to do it this way. So, if we do it like that... Also gonna need this over here. And I need 11 of these. Probably not going to use that, but I'll hold on to it for the moment. Uh, can I actually rotate this to be equivalent? No. No, I can't. So I th think we're probably just going to make a long one of these. Either that or... If I... That's going to take up extra space. And they would be like alternating fluids like this. I think we'll just do a long one for these. So we need 11 of these, right? This is 6. And let's double check the ratio. Biomechanical data. Yep, good. Okay. I'll move you over here. And then... That's actually... Apart from that, that is still pretty straightforward. Uh, we will need an output belt. It's gonna have to be... Wait, what? Oh, that's not quite right. Uh, I'm kind of scared of making a mistake. Let's just do it a bit more carefully. It's going to be the sort of mistake that's hard to spot if I do make that sort of mistake there. Okay, so that should be 11 of those and 11 of those. Fantastic. It's a shame the um, contaminated bio sludge output couldn't line up so we could go up this way and connect it with these maybe. Yeah, no, there's no way. It's fine. All right, so that is going to be that. And... Just merge those here. Something like that. Next is biochemical data. I think genetic data is probably going to be the hardest. This is three physical inputs in, one physical in, uh, one physical out, but it's really quite straightforward, much like this one. The only, um, 
The only sad thing is how much space it's going to have to take up because we are not being able to make it all nice and neat and fit together. Could I maybe possibly line those up? So that'd be a little bit neat. Oh, that's a different fluid. But those two, maybe like this, that doesn't reach. I could just do it like this, make one little exception. And then that goes there. Guess that may as well be a 3B. Why does this have to be here exactly? Um, I don't think... Well, if I flipped that around, they could share an input for these two items. It's probably... a half a belt is probably going to be enough. 5.7 and 2.8, 5.9 and 8.84, um, I kind of want to rotate that around and turn the belts around. And who knows, maybe the, uh, maybe some of the outputs will line up for the fluids. Oh, it'll also make it super easy to merge these two. That's kind of nice. Aren't you hooking different fluids together in the middle bit? In the pipes between them? Yeah, I would have been at one spot. Uh, let's see. Those are the same. That's... Oh, these two. That's convenient enough. Okay, I think I will add a bit of fluid to these pipes just to illustrate it. I need a bio sludge. Exactly 50%. So we can see that that is where it's supposed to be. And this one, contaminated cosmic water. Actually, I think I have to select it after I do this. Nope, never mind. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Lubricant. And no point in necessarily pointing those in that direction. But now we have a shared input for physical items between these two, and we just need to bring spice. Uh, how fast do we consume from these things? One per second, one per second, one per second. Okay. So we could definitely do some... How close together could I... 
actually put these. Since we only need three, I don't need to worry about a repeating pattern. Uh, we need two inserters because the spice has to come in here. Move these up a tile, I think. Except it might make problems with the pipes. Um, if we do that, See how I'm going to get a pipe through there. No, that's fine actually. Need a 3B. And space underground. What is this doing here? Okay. That should be fine. Let's put an input over here so we know what's what. Uh, this is biomass and blank data card. And data card. Um, this one needs the same thing, I think. As far as physical inputs go. Um, since this also needs plasma, I wonder if we could build these close together and have a shared production area for plasma. Might be good. 36.4 per, per second. Uh, wait, let's just check how much... All of these need for plasma. 67.6, .6, which requires eight machines. Is it going to line up? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Wait, does eight machine, uh, four machines supply this? Not quite. They need to share the same pipes. Anyway, that's a problem for later when we're figuring out the giant jigsaw puzzle for the base. Um, but this is basically fine for now. Uh, goes here. Should get some power down this way. Oh, I should probably, um... I don't foresee any problems putting... Uh, substations in place over here, but I should be a bit more careful about placing these things and forgetting to make room for substations. Okay. So let's just suppose we've got our chemical gel We also need to get the output sorted for these. What's the cleanest way to do the piping here? There's only one physical output. So we don't have to necessarily use a filter inserter sort of for that. Okay, I think we'll rotate these to all face the same way.
Where's my space? This goes here, that touches the wrong one. I think we're gonna have to have undergrounds going away and have a belt close by. Uh, what's the rate from one of these? One per second. Uh, let's see. This thing is nine tiles long, plus one or two miles. I don't think there's really a neat way to do it like this, is there? Especially since the sides are... both of these are on the side. One, two, three, four, seven. Let's just do a fiver. And this one goes here. I guess we can do the same thing with that. Need to connect those. Spice is supposed to go here. Um, belt will probably go all the way back this way. I'd rather bet on using up the space in any case. Wasn't there something else in this build that used spice? Or was it nuggets? Um, we're going to need... That fluid. Different. Huh? Why is there lubricant in here? There shouldn't be. And it keeps appearing. It's the same pipe network somehow. Okay. So... It's kind of like these fluids are connected through the buildings. That's unfortunate. That means we're going to have to stretch this thing even further. Okay. Move all... Oh, that means... That's going to be annoying. I'm going to have to do something like this. Um, I guess we'll make that part look the same for consistency sta uh, sake. Consistency steak. Delicious. And that. It's going to be similar. I don't think we're going to have room here. Uh, let's see. That doesn't reach. We could just do it like this. I think I like that a little bit better. 
What is this? One, two, three, four tiles. Wait, what? Oh, this needs to move over a tile. Which means... Uh, that doesn't go there. Alright, is that right? I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And it no longer thinks there's conflicting fluids in here. Alright, cool. We also need to connect this to this. Maybe this way. Not quite. Okay. Why is this an underground? Maybe we can make something fit there a bit nicer. Close. And I guess that'll have to be... Like so. Alright. It is about time to look for a stream to rain. Uh, at least we made a start on the bio stuff. I haven't really got to the hard part yet with the bio signs. All of these three are relatively straightforward. I mean... Only this one even deals with any junk output if you don't count fluids. Uh, but more importantly, they don't rely on a loop of bio sludge. Could I? I think I saved. Yeah. Anyway, let's see who is streaming for today. Oops. was going to raid Mucky yesterday. I think today will be fine. That's a future me problem? Always. Still testing out things in creative, or are we back in the world? Uh, we're maybe getting close to halfway through designing the main bus base uh, before we go back to the, the world. Uh, robust. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions or anything, by all means let me know. Hello, Mind Mousecraft. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the end of the stream. Uh, I think tomorrow's going to be Variety Day, so probably some satisfactory. Uh, thank you all again for watching. And I'll see you next time. In when they can fully unload. Which means they come in, they unload, they fuck off.